Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a lip swatch video for spring colors and I have an array of colors here. I'm gonna be doing nudes, pinks, reds, just showing you guys a bunch of different lip options that I love for spring and summer. So to start, I've just moisturized my lips with Hanalei Lip Treatment and it's just a really, really soft lip cream and I wear it all the time, like day and night. I put that on my lips earlier so that my lips are really soft and so all of the colors will lay really nicely. Also, sorry if I sound like raspy and horrible or if I die coughing at any point in this video, I'm still getting over a cold. So for the first color combo I'm gonna be showing you guys, I'm gonna be using Butterscotch by Anastasia Beverly Hills and Bittersweet from MAC. And I normally pair this lip color with my favorite lip liner, Chestnut, but I lost it and I can't find it anywhere and I'm dying. But Bittersweet is also a really great alternative because it's a pro long wear lip pencil, so it lasts a lot longer. Um, it's a little bit more red than Chestnut is. Chestnut's more of a deep brown, but it still works really well. So I just line my lips with Bittersweet and then fill it in with Butterscotch. See, I like this lip liner a lot, but it is definitely more red than Chestnut is. And then after I have the butterscotch on, if it's too light, I just go back in with the lip liner and even it out. So this is my favorite lip combination. I probably wear this almost every day or close to every day. And I try not to incorporate it in every single video that I wear, but it is my favorite lip combination. So it's perfect for spring, summer, winter and fall, if I ask myself. But I do really like this color for spring. The next color combination is Vintage uh, Lip Gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills and Plum Lip Liner from MAC. And it, this just makes like a kind of mauve pinky nude color combination, but it's really, really pretty because it still looks nude, but it gives a hint of pink. And I don't know, it just reminds me of happy spring flowers and such. So I'm just starting with putting the Plum Lip Liner around my lips and then filling it in with the Vintage Lip Gloss. And again, I'm gonna go back in with my lip liner. Most of the time for me, especially because I have such dark lips, I always use a darker lip liner than the color that I'm putting on, like the actual lipstick or lip gloss. And that's just because I have darker lips, so the transition is easier if it's a darker lip liner. But it also is a really pretty gradient effect, I think, if you have a darker lip liner. And you can just kind of blend the lipstick together better so you get a nicer finish. So this is the finished look for this one, and again, this is Plum Lip Liner and Vintage Lip Gloss. I will be sure to include everything that I'm using down in the description bar as well. The next color combination I'm using is Naked Ladies Satin Lip from ColourPop, and I'm gonna be mixing that with Beat Lip Liner from MAC. I do have some ColourPop lip liners, but for the majority, I really only use MAC lip liners. If you guys have any suggestions for other lip liner brands that you like, please leave them down in the description bar below, because I am like monopolized with MAC lip liners. But I do love them, they are really great products, so yes. The second one is Naked Ladies and Beat. Um, so I'm just going to start by lining my lips with Beat Lip Liner and then applying the Naked Ladies Satin Lip. That's bright. So this is the finished look for this one. And this one is very bright and daring, but I do love to step outside of my comfort zone sometimes and do something that's a bit brighter because I do tend to wear nudes a lot. So I think this lip color combination is perfect if you're going to like a beach party or a night out or something. It's super duper bright and fun. 
Okay, so to take off this lip color because it is kind of like sticking to my lips, anytime you're using like a satin lip color or a matte lip color, you wanna go in with something that's really like soft and hydrating on your lips. So I'm using the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil because it is really hydrating and it completely dissolves makeup. So that doesn't leave any residue for the color and so that I can continue doing these lip swatches without you guys seeing the previous color. The next color combination that I'm going to be using is Barbie Pink from Anastasia Beverly Hills and London Fog from ColourPop. I'm just going to be lining my lips with this and filling them in with this. Literally the same thing I've been doing this entire time. So this is the finished look for this one, and it's another really bright color combo. I get some people don't like to wear really bright things, but I think for spring and summer, you can. Like, it's the only time of the year that you actually can just go out and wear whatever you want on your lips. The next lip option that I have for you guys is just going to be a red lip, and I do really love wearing a red lip. If I'm not wearing a nude lip, I'm probably wearing a red lip. You can wear this really any time of year, but I do think it's especially beautiful in the spring and summer months. And the one that I'm trying today is going to be Infrared Matte from Smashbox. So I'm first just applying this lip color by itself, and then I'm going to blend out the edges using Cyber World from MAC. I also like using Night Moth as well. So those are all of my favorite looks for spring and summer lip looks. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave comments down below and let me know what your favorite look was and suggestions for videos you'd like to see. Okay, so thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh my God, I love this stuff so much. What can you do? I'm not going to be using a lip, I don't know if I'm gonna be using a lip liner for this. I don't know. Oh, Barbie? Barbie, yeah.